All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Zelkanon, and this is a uh, pretty pretty special day. I have two super build videos today. I'm trying to pump out um, these uh, backed up request videos that I was originally going to do until I had to move. Um, so, yeah. So, Sun Wukong was one of the uh, first ones. I think it was the first one that got requested uh, right as I had to leave. So, I'm not doing Sun Wukong. Um, as you see already, it's a, it's a tanky Sun Wukong. This is what I've personally been using for Sun Wukong. I personally like playing him more as a uh, supportive tank. Um, and, uh, and, and, it's, and it's saying that um, that's just what this video is. It's not a damaged Sun Wukong. I can give some tips on a damaged Sun Wukong. Um, but it's not really my profession. Um, so here we go. Items as actives. Okay, well, you can do, you could do as a, um, a support Sun Wukong and conquest. Now, the way this works, it works pretty much as the same as building. You can build the typical guardian way with like Midas boots and whatnot, um, or you can stick with the more warrior way and s still go with warrior tabby as your first boots um, and actives. Uh, that'd be Eye of Providence and uh, you know Hand of the Gods and. Um, and items like that, your, your typical guardian build for um, for conquest. But this isn't really for conquest. This is more for other game modes. Uh, you can still use this item for conquest. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over the items real quickly. Um, so I, I like to. Be, I like, I've been using sprint a lot uh, in case if my three isn't up, my seven two transformations. Um, this kind of lets me move around real quickly. If I need to escape, um, I can easily do so. Um, but you know. Like I always say, actives vary, so you may want, you know, like, enfeebling curse or whatnot. Uh, second active, I, I tend to get purification beads. Uh, you can go CC moon with your ulti. Uh, the, the thing about that, um, it takes a little bit to charge up. Yeah, you are CC immune right away, but you can still take damage um, if you don't want to rely on your ulti for that, um, or if it's down, rather. Uh, then you can kind of do so. Since we have no cooldown reduction in this build, uh, this is a great uh, alternative for being CC immune. Um, so it, it's really up to you on what active you want to use. Of course, we start with Warrior Tabby, as always. And then moving on to Sovereignty. Um, I would still pick this up as your second item for Conquest. Uh, Sovereignty is your meta for Guardian support tanks. Uh, it's just a really great supportive uh, as you have that aura, which grants um, anybody uh, while your allies around you uh, with physical and magical protection. So it's really great for those team fights, which that's what I kind of do with my Sun Wukong, like in Arena, for example. Uh, so that's why I picked this up. Also grants you health and physical protection. Next, I uh, you really need some magical protection um, ASAP, uh, especially since those uh, mages, uh, especially in arena, they they scale higher and higher, especially from early to mid game, and they have really large AOEs. And being a initiator, you're gonna be taking you know some crack into the face uh, and whatnot. You're gonna be taking a, a lot. So stone the guy really helps out, and it lets you also recover from a team fight with this amount of HP five. Um, ideally, you can, you know, withstand two team fights. Of course, depending on how uh, severe it is. But you know, do one team fight. Uh, let's say you come out, uh, you come out a winner there. Uh, your other guys, you know, they either die or they return to base. Well, you can, you know, stay in lane, clear those uh, minion waves with your magic culture, your one, um, until they come back. Or y you kind of get what I mean. You know, do do a, a buff fight in the sides and then go back to a team fight in the middle. So that's why I really like this. Also, it's it's a lot of magical protection for the price. It's really cheap, and also now it grants you HP. It's only a hundred, but still something to mention. All right, so Rune Forge Hammer. This really helps you get uh, your physical power up uh, with being so tanky. So with that, it, first of all, it is an extremely cheap item, and I love it because it's so cheap, especially buying the second tier. Uh, so you get a good amount of HP, a lot of physical protection, and since we already have sovereignty here. And our base uh, physical protection scaling, the 50% of your physical protection is now converted to physical power. You still have your uh, protection, but now you get power from it. Um, so this allows your, you know, you can do some pretty good damage being tanky. 
moving on to runic shield um with the same idea of uh having defense and having a little bit of power uh, also really great with that hp5 like i was mentioning before uh, a lot of recovery time you keeps uh you more sustain um you could still use it and um and conquest uh, you can uh, you know stay in lane or uh, you know start roaming around you know split from that duo lane onto mid lane jungle objectives whatever the case may be and so uh, also forgot to mention the passive is really cool especially in team fights when hit by an ability ability your magical protection is increased by 30 for five seconds can only occur once every 20 seconds which that's um, not too big of a deal but uh, this helps you out quite a bit in being tanky against those mages. And your last item kind of varies on what you want to do. Uh, you can say the same for all these items. Uh, you know, address your you know your items accordingly. If you're fighting more more physical than magical, or only magical, or only physical, uh, just kind of be aware of that. This is more if you're fighting a uh, more hybrid standard team. Uh, you may want a little bit more magical defense than physical. It's kind of up to you. And also to mention, this is my own opinion. This is what I use for myself. I'm not saying this is the best build, but this is the build that I use, and it works for me. And it very well may work for you. Uh, and feel free to modify the build as you seek fit. Um, and it's it's been working really well for me. Uh, I don't really die more than twice at all. Um, I always have twice the amount of kills as devs. And I have plenty of assists, so it works really well. And so I should go to my last item before I keep going. Is Shifter's Shield. It used to be called I Retaliation. Uh, this is a really cool item. Um, <laughs> like uh, I like I keep saying throughout all this video is uh, having protection power is really cool uh, so especially with the passive so while over 50% health which the most time you are with this amount of HP 5 you should be fine so you get another 20 physical power while over that threshold so you want to have 60 physical power on top of having you know the 15 physical and 15 magical protection that's really nice uh, so you get a little bit of the best of both worlds. Then once you drop below 50%, you gain plus 20 protections. So you're going to be more tanky when you drop uh, below that threshold. And with the, with the amount of HP 5 we have, it can quickly get us back above that 50% 50, 50 and get us that extra 20 physical power uh, that would be really nice to have uh, and help DPSing uh, people down. So as you see, I got the Dark Lord Sun Wukong for the uh, for that that Twitter event where uh, the free gems. So our HP is looking pretty nice, 20 uh, 2900. Might as well round it up to 3000. Uh, look at that. Our HP 5 is 64. That's a lot. That's a lot of HP 5. Uh, attack power 145. Really nice. A physical defense 233. And a magical defense 213. Really cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, do some damages. Also, real quick, some alternatives. If you don't want sovereignty, um, I would recommend Mystical Mail. This is another really great item, and this will help overall your DPS with that aura effect. So it deals fit, uh, 40 magical damage per second to enemies within 25 units. Since Sun Wukong is uh, very much so an initiator, that's going to help overall your damage output, and then help bring uh, bring down those enemies. That way, you you know your hunters, assassins, mages, whatever, can uh, just burn them down from there. So that's an alternative for that. Uh, that goes for the same for the Rune Forge Hammer if you don't want that so that's just another recommendation as far as physical defense items as far as magical defense i would uh, definitely recommend picking up um bark of hope really good item so let's get on with some a uh, little bit of damage output remember this is not a damage build so it's a fair bit it's a fair bit for being tanky So instead of doing uh, the traditional, let's go ahead and see how tanky we are against the Gold Fury. Okay, so, so look at that HP. Plus 11, plus 12, plus 12, plus 11. Really nice. It's quite a bit of uh, HP 5 and she's not doing too much damage to me. Alright. I'd really close cool. go ahead and sprint our way to raw. And that pretty much wrap it up. 
kind of sad they they removed the, the, the suction cup sounds from when he jumps. That's that's so awesome. Okay. Yeah, he's barely hurting us. And then of course we always have our ulti if we get really low and with that HP five on our ulti and then our base HP five, just you're gonna be you're gonna be up and ready to go for the next te uh, team fight uh, and no no problem. So this pretty much wraps it up for the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.